explain you how we solve second order or first order differential equation using a finite difference method. So this is very easy topic and I hope you all understand. Uh, suppose uh, uh, basically uh, we solve here boundary value problem. So uh, what is boundary value problem? Uh, the general boundary value problem is y double s plus uh, suppose uh, px uh, y s plus uh, qx y is equal to rx where x belongs to close interval a b uh, with initial condition y at a is suppose a value and y at b is given to b means uh, when condition given on boundary because here boundary x lies between a and b so a and b represent boundary so if condition given on boundary it means it's a boundary value problem so how we solve this second order differential equation using finite difference method uh, so i will explain uh, first uh, so uh, first order derivative at x is equal to x i suppose at x is equal to x i what is first order derivative uh, that is uh, y dash x i which equal to 1 by h y i plus 1 minus y i if using forward difference operator of first order this is equal to 1 by h y i minus y i minus 1 if we use backward difference of first order and it is equal to 1 by 2h y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 if we use central difference of second order approximation so uh, for first order we have three types either we go for forward or backward or center basically in our questions we are going to use forward difference operator approximation so y dash is equal to 1 by h y i plus 1 minus y i Similarly, second order derivative at x is equal to x i. Uh, here we are going to use central difference of second order approximation which is equal to y double dash at x i is equal to 1 by h square y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1. So our work is and where h is h is a step length you know very well b minus a by n where n means how many sub intervals you require. So our first work is find out h value. So divide the given interval into sub intervals uh, how many uh, they want uh, they will tell you otherwise they will give h value once they will give an h there no need to calculate h otherwise you will divide basically basically you divide in four equal parts that's better so once you divide then uh, once you know h calculate y dash and y double dash just uh, put y dash and y double dash for y dash we are going to use this formula except when they ask go for forward difference or backward difference operator for first order but for second order we always go for central difference 
uh, methodology uh, for y double dash which is equal to 1 upon h square y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1. So just whatever question given just you put y dash and y double dash value well, uh, you have one uh, equation iteration equation you have just take i value 1 2 3 and uh, you have three system of equation uh, one system of equation you have in which three equation is there three unknowns will be there solve it by any method either Gauss elimination basically it is a tridimensional system so uh, better you will use tridimensional system otherwise you can use whatever method you want if you want to solve by Gauss elimination do it so understand the steps first calculate h value either they will give otherwise you will calculate so when you will calculate divide the intervals into four equal parts how using this formula once you calculated h you have tabular x value and corresponding y value y value is starting and end you have because uh, boundary conditions they will give so starting and end you have remaining intermediate values you have to calculate and how we calculate just replace in given differential equation y dash value by this and y double dash value by this you have one equation in place of x just put x i so once you have equation in for intermediate values maybe you have three unknowns with the three equation solve it by any method and you will get the answer i am going to do one question for you so we are going to solve this uh, second order differential equation with the boundary condition given y at 1 is equal to 1 y at 2 is equal to 2 and with h value the given 0.25 so uh, what is x value and corresponding y value so x value starting value is 1 and n value 2 intermediate value next value 1 plus uh, x 0 plus h means 1.25 then 1.50 then 1.75 and then 2 so this is your x naught x1 x2 x3 x4 now corresponding y value at y 1 given this is your y naught this value you have not given y1 y2 y3 Again, a last value given to which is y4. So y0 and y4 given. y0 and y4 given. You have to calculate y1, y2, y3. And x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 given. So now how we calculate? What is given differential equation? Given differential equation is x y double s plus y is equal to 0 now put uh, uh, approximation so in place of x so you have to put x i in place of y double s it is 1 by h square y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1 plus in place of y y i is equal to 0 so this equation is x i y i plus 1 minus 2 x i y i plus x i y i minus 1 plus h square y i is equal to 0 or x i y i plus 1 minus or plus h square minus 2 x i y i plus x i y i minus 1 is equal to 0 now for i is equal to 1 this is your equation for i is equal to what, what is the equation x1 y2 plus 
h square minus 2x1 y1 plus x1 y0 is equal to 0. So just put the values. What is x1 value? 1.25 y2 plus h square. h square means 0.25 square. Minus 2x1 is 2.5 y1. What is y1? Uh, plus x1 means 1.25. What is y0? y0 is 1 is equal to 0. Simplify this, you will get equation. Similarly, for i is equal to 2, just put value, what do you get? x2 y3 plus h square minus 2x2 y2 plus x2 y1 is equal to 0. Just put the values. When you put the value, what do we get? x2 means 1.5 y3 plus h square is 0.25 square minus 2x2 means 6 y2 plus x2 means 1.5 y1 is equal to 0 Simplify this, you will get second equation. This is your first one when you simplify. And third, for i is equal to 3. What is the equation? x3 y4 plus h square minus 2 x3 y3 plus x3 y2 is equal to 0. What is x3 value? 1.75. What is y4? 2. x square means 0.25 square minus 2 x3. So 2 into 1.75 y3 plus x3 means 1.75 y2 is equal to 0 because number 3. So when you simplify this all, you will get the equation in y1, y2, y3. Now your work is to solve that one. So I will write the equations. So uh, when you simplify this all, you will get uh, this is equation number 1, this is 2, this is 3. When you simplify first one, you will get the equation in y1 and y2. When you solve this one, you will get the equation in y1, y2, y3. And when you solve this one, you will get the equation y3 and y2. So now you have three equations with three unknowns. Unknowns are y1, y2 and y3. How we solve? It's easy to solve. Uh, make the form ax, a, ay is equal to b. And simply uh, do it by Gauss elimination method. That's the most easiest method. So what is a? A, a is minus 39 20 0 24 minus 47 24 0 28 minus 55 y is y1 y2 y3 what is b b is minus 20 0 minus 56. Now solve by Gauss elimination. Method or any method which you know to solve system of equation. Solve it, you will get the answer. Y3 
is equal to 1.85 y2, 1.63 y1, 1.35. You can solve by any method, but whatever you know, uh, use that method. So it's very easy process.